marching in celebration of Labor Day. A big crowd turning out for the annual holiday parade in Naperville. Parades, barbecues, hitting the beach, all part of the Labor Day tradition. But when it comes to the real meaning of the holiday, did you know it started right here in Chicago? CBS 2's Marissa Bailey takes us to the Pullman neighborhood where Labor Day has its roots. If these brick walls could talk, I was like, wow, this is amazing. You know? They would tell stories of Chicago history. These are old tracks. Pullman sleeper cars, the African American Pullman porters, labor fights. History says that Labor Day exists because of Pullman. George Pullman, the inventor of the Pullman sleeper car. Factory workers upset with wage reductions went on strike, 4,000 strong in Chicago, but it stretched throughout the nation. Were it not for that strike in the 1800s, there would, no, would not have been a pathway or the way through which African Americans would come. That same year, as a way to ease tensions with the railroad union, President Grover Cleveland declared Labor Day a federal holiday. Pullman gave me the opportunity to work on my hand. Alfonso is a third generation railroad worker. I had an opportunity to work for building maintenance. That's where I came across a lot of this stuff. I got fire hydrant. When Pullman Railroad closed its doors in the 80s, so I got blueprints. Of this was all considered junk. And I got keys. He started collecting that junk. And then I realized that uh, this is very valuable and I live in a historic district. He is history. He is Chicago. He is the reason why you and I are able to stand here and have the liberties that we have. Liberties old and new that Jaquita Johnson appreciates and knows all too well. Okay, I really like the idea of how the Pullman workers organized, came together and had a union strike. Johnson, an active union member herself. Things that paid the way for many of us today to have, you know, just that voice and to be able to work um, collectively to make effective change. The Pullman neighborhood was designated a national park in February of 2015 by President Obama. It is the only national park in Chicago and is made up of multiple locations. Erica Pullman is known as one of the hidden gems here in our city. Yes. And while we learn something new on every story that we go out on, I learned so <laughs> much today about Chicago history. I will definitely be back and I encourage everybody to go back as well. It's, it really is an important part of who we are. Yes, it is. And you know, we always talk about Labor Day and mm -hmm. it has a significance in its own, but to have our own connection. Right. To our own city. Yes. Pretty proud of that. Agreed. <laughs> Thank you, Marissa. Sure.